for the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. Aries, just keep in mind, the roles can be switched. They see you could actually be you see them. So that's something to note. So, what I'm getting for a lot of you Aries is that there's someone that wants to come in and make you an offer. Now this offer, it may or it may not be what you're hoping to hear. But let's get into the reading and let's take a look at this. So, for the present time, coming up towards the end of June or mid-June, we got this Ten of Pentacles and it's with the Five of Cups. Now the Ten of Pentacles, it says that you have a great deal to be thankful for, your relationships, finance, health, all these things are going well. So you might have to consider or you might want to consider how you got to such a happy situation and make the best of it. But be sure to share what you have, even if it's just a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we give back what we give out. Now this Ten of Pentacles, it's paired with the Five of Wait a minute, it's paired with, yeah, Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is the card at the top. I usually start with the card at the top, but I got it a little bit twisted. So, Five of Cups, the card that's above the word present. This is another card that reminds us where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. You might find yourself asking what are you going to choose to focus on because the implication might be extremely clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is you might have to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So with these two cards paired together, Ten of Pentacles and Five of Cups, Someone that you're dealing with or someone coming towards you, or this could be you, Aries. Um, what? Someone wants the, someone wants commitment, marriage, childbirth, engagement. Someone wants, um, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Someone wants the top, someone wants the top, the tops. Someone wants the end all be all, put it that way. Yeah. A happy family life with you or you with someone. Or this could be a situation coming towards you. But it look it looks like you could be faced with a challenge of um, some disappointment here. Some loss, regret with the five of cups, uh, feeling abandoned or unloved. So you might have to choose where you decide to put your focus. But let's get more clarity on these two cards by taking a look at the rest of the reading. So we'll come back to those two. But for now, let's move on over and let's take a look at how your person sees you. They see you like the death card, the card at the top, and the card at the bottom of they see you. That's the higher front. So the death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. And I say this because we're all creatures with free will and such things, they're not written in stone. This card, it simply indicates transformation and change. It's definitely a time of deep transformation, likely to be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, things, and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be there for you quite the same way that they once were. Keep in mind, the transition can be difficult for some people, but the change is nearly always needed. So your person see you as going through some deep transformation, or they could see you... They could, they could think or see that you're ending or wanting to end this connection. Maybe at one point you were, you were clinging to it um, because you were afraid of letting go of the familiar or you hate the thought of being alone. 
so yeah they could see you as coming to con some coming to some conclusion about this connection and uh, or you're letting go of an outdated attitude there's some deep transformation going on that's how they see you it could be internally and externally um, now to the higher fun they they possibly could think that you're becoming more spiritual or spiritually grounded you're searching for the meaning of life um, or there's a few storylines with how they see you they could be seeing you as someone who just you want something more genuine more real because the hierophant it's it could be about searching for the meaning of life and you're considered to be a great loyal friend now when this type of person is called on for help or advice with some important matters or issues their empathy and intelligence puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support so this could be well yeah this is how they're seeing you uh, quick witted well educated a wise teacher marked by integrity quite frankly um, the Hierophant is the genuine article a true blue highly admired individuals who walk the walk talk the talk stand firm in their beliefs and convictions so they could also see you as a higher thing having a love a deep love for them that cannot be broken because that's what the higher thing stands for when it talks about love a deep love that cannot be broken so like i said they're seeing you could have a few different storylines you have to go with whichever one feels fit the way whichever one you feel like you connect with but I'm picking up that they see you going through some deep transformation. Deep change, you're changing inwardly. Maybe they feel like you're not the same person that you used to be, or the same person that they knew when they first met you. Some type of deep change. And you may just be wanting to become more spiritually grounded or more religious. Um, or you just want something more genuine and true and that's what that's what they see you looking for you're looking for something real no games being played now let's take a look at how you see them you see them like the knight of cups that's the card at the top of you see them and then the knight of swords so the knight of cups is one of the most well the nine of cups like most of the cups in the tarot it's optimistic very good card to see in a reading uh, this one comes with some type of message someone wants to reach out uh, your person has something to say they want to talk they want to uh, get next to you yeah because um, the nine of cups is about being romantic and sensitive now usually uh, the messages that come in they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive yeah it's something you want to hear hopefully <laughs> so this nine of cups it um, tells you that things are going well and you're likely to be likely to be feeling charged up ready for action good news especially with matters of the heart it's coming in it's they're on their way your person how you see them they want to reach out to you they want to get next to you they want to be romantic sensitive and your person's coming in Aries now I could say this again and again because that's what it looks like because we also got the knight of swords the knight of swords it's, it's kind of like this uh, knight of cups Knight of Swords, it brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful energy. The Knights mean that someone desirable wants to sweep you off your feet. Yeah, they want to seek you out. It points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. If you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear again. 
Okay, the Knight of Swords, it can point to a lot of, a lot of activity, being out and about, getting things accomplished. And you're not likely to wait, you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. So that's a good thing, go after your heart's desire. Yeah, the Knight of Swords, they come in really fast and they cut out whatever gets in their way. That's how anxious they are to get to you. See how he's charging in? Looks like he could be flying in the air on a animal on a he look is that a cow? I don't know what a cow I mean is that I don't know what that is. He's charging in on some type of animal and he looks like he's in the air in the mountains and he's not letting anything get in his way. Um You see this person, they have a plan, they're ready to take action. And they're coming in really fast. So you see them really, 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 really wanting to reach out to you. And maybe you don't know it, but I'm here to tell you that's what they're doing. Because it's in here twice for how you see them. This person wants to talk to you. They want to text you. They want to be next to you. They want to be romantic, sensitive. They got some plans for you and them. Yeah. Nothing can stop them now. And that's how you see them. So let's take a look at why it's happening. We got the Ace of Wands and then we got the Six of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Wands is about new, new beginnings, usually positive ones. Could be in the realm of uh, work or career. And if you're having a difficult time now, if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are likely to be getting better very soon. And this card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about the future with a really good cause. You're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you will be feeling that way soon. The Ace tells you that now is a good time to start something new. So, the wands are usually about passion, a lot of passion. So you or your person has a lot of passion for you or you for them. And someone wants a new beginning here. And I think it's quite obvious who, by what we've talked about in the reading so far. Okay, it looks like it's your person, but we'll recap this reading and make sure that's what's going on so that's one of the reasons why it's happening and the other reasons why it's happening is because of the six of pentacles now the six of pentacles is a term for the better particularly when it comes to money now when you hear the word pentacles in the tarot that's money cash coins finance income yeah so it speaks of fairness equality and the nature of life so you're heading into a very positive cycle not just a positive day or a time but a whole complete cycle six of pentacles is a card about generosity meaning that you are either about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value so share what you have because there's always someone who needs it so the other reason why it's happening is because um, someone wants a good relationship. The Six of Pentacles is about a good relationship. Or someone sees that this can be a good relationship. And someone could be wanting to be a provider. A strong, good provider. Because it's about being the beneficiary of something of value. So let's recap the reading and let's see what's, let's, let's get the full picture, put it that way. So basically, um, your person, um, they see you as going through some deep change, transformation. You're looking for something that's real, true, honest, sincere, no games being played with the Hierophant here. Um, you just want the real dealio. You don't have time for games. You could be... Uh, wanting, um, you could be wanting to become more spiritual. Um, 
You just don't want any BS. And you're changing. They see, that's how they see you. And you see them as, um, they're coming in. Uh, rain, sleet, snow, shine, nothing can stop them now. They want to talk to you. They'll be reaching out a lot. A whole lot. Because it's heavy in how you see them. Now this person, they want a, a new beginning with you, Aries. With this Ace of Wands showing up. Yeah, and they got a lot of passion for you. A whole lot of passion. Because the Ace of Wands, that's that's a um, what it's about. A lot of passion and wanting to just, yeah, have a new beginning. Very, they, see, they see this can be a positive new beginning, your person. And um, your person... It looks like they want to be a great provider for you. Or with the Six of Pentacles here, they could... Um, yeah, they want to provide for you. That's what it looks like. The Six of Pentacles is the beneficiary of something of value. Yeah, it looks like your person wants to take good care of you. And they want a new beginning. They got a lot of passion for you. They're going to be calling you, texting you uh, over and over again. They'll be reaching out, you know, knocking on your door. There looks like they're flying in the air just to get to you. And they're going to cut out whatever gets in their way until they get to you. You're changing. You want something real. You want, Or you want them to keep it real. Uh, you could be connecting with the, your higher power, your spiritual side. And um, uh, you looks like with the Five of Cups here, uh, you want no disappointments. Yeah. Because the Five of Cups, you could be crying over spilt milk or focusing on what you still have. It looks like you, you're focusing what you, on what you have. Five of Cups is about disappointment. Uh, you don't want any disappointment because it's with the Ten of Pentacles. If this person... Uh, can't come to you correct I don't I'm picking up you won't you won't deal with it but it looks like they want to come to you correct um, because you want the ten of Pentacles you want the happy overall everything yeah happy happy life happy wife happy pets happy kids you want the overall you want it you want it to be good overall Ten of Pentacles is the tops. It says that you have a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationship of all kinds, finance, health, all those things are going well. Uh, the relationships, they take off to the next level. Marriage, commitment, that's what you want. So you, you, you just don't want that Five of Cups up there. You're deciding to focus on what you have. And if, you're, if your person is bringing you um, disappointment, you're not going to deal with it. But it looks like they, this person wants to do right for you. I don't know if it's a new person coming in. Yeah, I don't know, but they want a new beginning with you. A new beginning with you. A new beginning with you.